Hannah Learns a Lesson, written by Hannah, Bernice, Carly, Esther, and Caitlin. Leo the lion liked to lie. He was only in third grade, but he could come up with a lie for each of the hairs in his little mane. On Monday, he tied Sally the sloth shoelaces in class and blamed it on Terry the tiger. On Tuesday, he told George the giraffe that there were ghosts lurking in the bathroom. On Wednesday, he snatched Penny the pig's lunchbox and hid it in the library, telling Penny that Terry the tiger had eaten it. On Thursday, he lied to the teacher, Mr. Dodge the dog, that his pet meerkat ate his homework. Mr. Dog shook his head in frustration, for it was not the first time Leo's homework had been mysteriously eaten. By Friday, all the students were fed up with Leo's lies. My feet hurt from falling down after Leo tied my shoelaces together, cried Sally the sloth. I'm tired of being blamed for things I did not do. Sally, I would never tie your shoelaces together, and Penny, I would not ever think of eating your lunch. I know how much you like your cucumber sandwiches, grieved Terry the tiger. It's okay, Terry. I found it in the library later. But by then, my sandwich was soggy and my tummy was growling with hunger, said Penny. I peed my pants yesterday because I couldn't hold on until I got home. I'm too afraid to use the bathroom here now. George the giraffe took a deep sigh and looked down at his hooves. Don't worry, George. I promise there aren't any ghosts. Leo is trying to scare you, explained Sally. I wish I could scare him back, claimed George. I wish everything he has done to us could be done right back to him. Suddenly the animals turned to each other with grins and giggles. It was as if a giant light bulb appeared above their heads. They finally had a plan for Leo to feel the reality of lying. Sally tied Leo's shoes together when he wasn't looking. When he stood out of his chair, he fell to the floor with a bang. George wore a ghost costume and hid in the bathroom. When Leo came out of his stall, George quickly crept up and shouted, Boo! Leo roared in fright and ran away with his tail tucked between his legs. Penny hid Leo's lunchbox in the library. Terry pretended to lose his lunch and exclaimed, Why did you take my lunch, Leo? What? No, I didn't take anyone's lunch. I can't even find my own. Leo raised his paws up in the air innocently. Yes, you took my lunch. Someone told me so, said Terry. Leo scampered away in frustration and hid in Mr. Dodge's empty classroom. He let out a soft whimper and slumped in his chair. His feet hurt from having his shoes tied. He dared not to go to the bathroom, for there actually were ghosts. And now Terry thought he had taken his lunch. Grumble, grumble, grumble. His stomach growled in hunger at the thought of food. Looking for this, said a voice. Leo lifted his head and found Penny holding his lunchbox, standing alongside Sally, Terry, and George. Where did you find that? asked Leo. I put it in the library, but we did not want you to starve all day, replied Penny. And we did not want you to be scared of going to the bathroom either. It was me in the ghost costume. George revealed his white coat to Leo. Now you know how it feels when someone ties your shoes, said Sally. And when someone blames you for things you didn't do, added Terry. Leo dropped his jaw in shock. He then looked down with shame and realized perhaps lying was not fun after all. Penny handed the lunchbox back to Leo. Thanks, and I'm sorry. The lion now humbled, looked up to his classmates apologetically. The four looked at each other and nodded appreciatively. We forgive you. Mr. Dodge entered the classroom while chewing on his afternoon snack, a dog bone. Ready for class already? You were all five minutes early. And Mr. Leo, did that meerkat eat your homework again today? Questioned Mr. Dodge skeptically. Ying. Leo paused and shook his head. No, I'm sorry, Mr. Dodge. I'll do it right now. Mr. Dodge raised his eyebrows in shock and nodded in approval. That is a very good idea, Leo. Very good indeed. George, Sally, Penny, and Terry smiled at Leo, and together they helped him finish his homework. After that Friday, the five classmates became close friends. Most importantly, Leo became an honest and truthful lion.